flying a uh, 2002 Piper Mirage en route from Lexington to Danville, Kentucky. Danville's an uncontrolled field. And we're going to uh, demonstrate a balked landing and how the angle of attack indicator that's installed up here next to the compass uh, could be helpful during that kind of a maneuver. Uh, it's a Beautiful Kentucky morning, and uh, no weather issues, pretty good visibility, so this should be fun. Before rejoining our video, let me familiarize you with the angle of attack system. It is made by Alpha Systems. The indicator I've chosen is the Eagle, which uses a sequence of colored symbols to convey the wing's angle of incidence relative to the oncoming air. A wing-mounted probe with two opposing openings derives angle of attack data for the cockpit display by measuring differential pressure. Note the display is mounted above the glare shield, not down on the panel, so it's in the pilot's immediate peripheral vision. The display uses common green, yellow, red color coding, and the vertical position of the indications correspond to higher or lower angles of attack. At the center of the display are two halves of a blue circle, usually referred to as the blue donut when both are illuminated. This indicates the optimum angle of attack, where the ratio of lift to drag is the highest, and also a 30% safety margin above the aircraft's weight-adjusted stall speed. Flying the blue donut at certain critical phases of flight yields an ideal target airspeed. The direction of the yellow triangle and chevron indicate to pitch up for the blue donut for the optimum angle of attack. Conversely, the red triangle and chevron encourage the pilot to pitch down to decrease the angle of attack to reach the optimum AOA and also warn of an impending stall. The green bar at the bottom of the display represents the low angles of attack above maneuvering speed. This is the indication during normal cruise. Now let's get back to our flight. Danville Unicom Malibu 3 Hotel Pop will be entering the uh, left downwind for runway 12. Uh, okay, we've got the uh, airport. We're at 2,500 feet, pattern altitude, and yeah, setting ourselves up to enter the downwind. And we're going to add a notch of approach flaps, so flaps 10 at this point. And we've throttled back to about 22 inches. And the gear's coming down. Airport's right in front of us. We're entering this uh, downwind on the 45. Fuel pump coming on. Altitude 200 to go. Pattern altitude is about 2,000 feet. Blowing the airplane down. And we're a beam the numbers. Um, we're getting set up for landing here. 120 knots on the speed now. And we're going to go to flaps 20. No pressurization left at this point. And uh, so we'll bring the manifold pressure down a little more. Pretty noisy on Unicom this morning. Speed's now 110 knots. Altitude. Now we're going to start our turn to base here. Here's down, three green indicators. And we're going to uh, do a bulk landing this morning. And be using the angle of attack indicator to uh, help us establish a Good climb out profile. We're going to turn now base our base to final. Our manifold pressure is coming down to about 15 inches. Dropping fuel forward. 
No, we're going to be, uh, be doing the go around. And on final now, I'm going to put put out full flaps. Rich match traffic skyline six three one is on a ten knot final for runway three six. And the angle attack indicator is telling us that we're getting slow. And of course, we know that. At this point, we're going to be pitching for blue donut on final. This airplane's configured for the uh, to display the optimum alpha angle in the landing configuration, which is what I prefer. Okay, so about 75 knots, we've got the blue donut, full flaps, and we're going to execute the go-around now, so the power comes up. And then we pitch up for the blue donut, flaps 20. Still pitching for the blue donut. And as we climb out, we'll now bring the gear up. As their speed accelerates, getting slow. We'll go to flaps ten. Rich Madison traffic skyline six three one on five mile final four three six. Rich Madison. And we bring the uh, keep bringing the trim forward. And there's a nice climb out as we approach a hundred knots. Going to get all the flaps out. So flaps zero now. And there's 110 knots, so we have now transitioned to pretty much a uh, normal climb out. And the speed is uh, up to about 115 knots now. We're climbing out at about 1,200 feet a minute. And we are now 1,000 feet AGL, so that uh, worked pretty good for a balked landing and uh, VFR conditions.